Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Gia. Stop, stop. Before you enjoy the full song, let me take you back to the year 1999. My grandmother was overfeeding my mom with so many delicious food because I was inside my mother's womb. Yes, I have been a foodie from the day I was a fetus. On November 1st, 1999, when the whole world is celebrating the birthday of Miss World Aishwarya Rai, another beauty queen, more like a foodie queen, Amitta Varshani was born with a record-breaking weight of 5 kilograms. From snatching my elder sister's snacks to cooking my own recipes, the food inside me faced a crisis when I was 11 years old. Happy birthday to you. The song was melodious and the big beautiful cake was lit up with golden candles and I was there standing happily. No, it's not my birthday, but it was the day I saw such a beautiful cake for the first time and I wanted to eat it so badly. My hands were tingling, my mouth was watering. And just as I was about to take a piece of cake, my mom, who was draped in a sari with a tight bun in her head, looking like the typical strict teacher whom we all avoid. Actually, she's a teacher. She looked down upon me and said, No, Ami, no, don't touch those cakes. I'm raising you to be a vegetarian. Those cakes contain eggs. Do not eat them. I was so furious and disappointed. Who would have loved to eat such an eye-cutting cake? I was so determined to eat that cake, so somehow I managed to sneak and get a piece of cake. Wow! What a taste! Oh my god, it really melted in my mouth immediately. I just wanted to eat it more and more. And one day, I got another chance at my school. It was my friend's birthday and she bought a huge chocolate cake to the school. I took the piece of cake my friend offered. I took the bite and suddenly, my mom's face with a scowl on her face popped up into my mind. And I just dropped the remaining piece of cake awkwardly. After that, I never tried to touch a piece of cake containing eggs. Years passed by and finally, the food inside me won the battle. If I can't eat cakes with eggs in them, I can eat cakes without eggs. But it was not the same. It was not spongy or moist enough as the normal ones. I was so disappointed. With a heavy heart, I was just scrolling through food blocks. When I came across the saying, there is nothing in cooking that you cannot create. Yes, I have to go working on my own eggless cakes. Uh oh, but we don't have an oven in our home. So I went straight to my parents and said, Mom, Dad, I need an oven. My parents, who were relaxing on the couch, looked at me like, what got into this girl? On seeing their puzzled expression, with a charming tone, I said to them, uh, Mom, Dad, you know, we can make our own eggless stuff now. It's so hard to get eggless stuff, eggless cake and sweets. Why can't we buy an oven? My charm worked. They both gave it a good thought and decided to help me. Papara papara pa! I started baking. But my recipes kept failing and failing. I tried various recipes from books to internet. Unfortunately, it was all a fail 
the 11 year old inside me was never satisfied. I told to myself, come on Ami, stop wasting your time over a piece of cake. I'm I'm just just going to do it. Huh? But I told, I told myself, myself I can try one last time. And one last time, I tried a ribbon cake. And suddenly two sets of harm hugged me tightly. My mother's and my sister's. And through their hug, I can't see my father was busy eating the cake I made for them. Even I was mesmerized by the taste, feeling like 11 year old away. And that's how I started taking orders for English space. Dear ladies and gentlemen, in life, for some stuff may seem trivial to others, but of course it is not trivial to you. Like just a piece of cake, it may look like a piece of cake to you, but definitely it's not a piece of cake to me. No matter how trivial it may look for others, what matters is how important it is to you and how determined you are to do it. As long as you are determined to do it, nothing can stop you, even if it's just a piece of cake. Happy birthday to you. Another birthday song, another birthday cake, another view, and I made that beautiful birthday cake. Over to you. <laughs>